The engine generating sets used in Vatsila power plants are driven by heavy-duty, medium-speed, four-stroke reciprocating engines. These generating sets consist of an engine connected directly to a generator via a flexible coupling. The generator and engine are rigidly mounted on a common base frame, which in turn is mounted on steel springs on the concrete foundation. The engines are equipped with turbochargers and charge air cooling. The purpose of the turbochargers is to boost the pressure in the charge air receiver. The turbochargers are driven by the exhaust gases from the cylinders. The cylinder heads are equipped with two inlet air valves and two exhaust gas valves. The valves are camshaft operated. On liquid fuel engines, the camshaft also operates the fuel oil injection pump. Decades of extensive research and development work coupled with millions of running hours in a multitude of demanding continuous duty applications, has proven the Vatsila medium-speed four-stroke engines to be the best on the market. In the diesel process, liquid fuel is injected into the cylinder at high pressure by camshaft-operated pumps. The fuel is ignited instantly due to the high temperature resulting from the compression. Combustion takes place under constant pressure with fuel injected into the cylinder during combustion. After the working phase, the exhaust gas valves open and the cylinder is emptied of exhaust gases. With the piston in its upper position, the inlet valves open just before the exhaust gas valves close and the cylinder is filled with air. In Vatsala engines, the inlet valves close just before the piston reaches the bottom dead center. This method, called Miller timing, reduces the work of compression and the combustion temperature, which results in higher engine efficiency and lower emissions. The gas diesel process has three possible operating modes. Gas, liquid fuel and fuel sharing. In gas mode, the gas is injected at high pressure after the pilot fuel and is ignited by the flame from the pilot fuel injection. The amount of pilot fuel is equivalent to approximately 5% of the fuel energy input at fuel engine load. The gas diesel engine can be switched over instantly to liquid fuel mode operation. The liquid fuel can be light fuel oil, heavy fuel oil or crude oil. In this case, the process is the same as the conventional diesel process. In fuel sharing mode, the ratio between liquid and gas fuel amounts can be controlled and varied during operation. The operating window for the fuel sharing mode is 35 to 90% load and the gas liquid fuel ratio can vary from 80-20 to 1585. The gas diesel process can tolerate large variations in the gas quality and is especially suitable for non-pipeline quality gas, such as associated gas in oil fields. The dual fuel engine utilizes a lean burn combustion process when operating on gas. Here, the gas is mixed with air before the intake valves during the air intake period. After the compression phase, the gas-air mixture is ignited by a small amount of liquid pilot fuel. This pilot fuel is pressurized and fed into the cylinders by a small common rail system. Combustion is fast, and after the working phase, the exhaust gas valves open and the cylinder is emptied of exhaust gases. The inlet air valves open when the exhaust gas valves close, and the process starts again.
The dual fuel engine is also equipped with a backup fuel system. This is a normal diesel process with camshaft operated liquid fuel pumps. The pumps run in parallel with the process and work as a standby. Gas and pilot injection is not in use during liquid fuel operation. The liquid fuel operation process is the same as the conventional diesel process. The SG engines are spark ignited lean burn engines. In this process, the gas is mixed with air before the inlet valves and the gas air mixture is compressed during the compression phase. During the intake period, gas is also fed into a small pre chamber where the gas mixture is rich compared to the gas in the cylinder. At the end of the compression phase, the gas-air mixture in the pre-chamber is ignited by a spark plug. The flames from the nozzle of the pre-chamber ignite the gas-air mixture in the whole cylinder. Combustion is fast. After the working phase, the cylinder is emptied of exhaust gas via the exhaust gas valves and the process starts again.